Good morning, Adam. John Drager here from Capital GMC. I hope you're doing well and hope you enjoy the video you're about to watch. Right here, we're gonna be taking a look at two uh, trucks. This is the, the first video on the first truck. We are looking at a brand new, all new 2019 GMC Sierra AT4. This is a brand new truck from GM. Let's just take a, a nice little slow walk around the truck so you can see what she looks like before I dive into all the nitty gritty bits of it, okay? Look how good that looks. This is in smoky quartz metallic. Alrighty, so starting at the front, all new GMC Sierra. What's new? Well, everything but the name. It is a completely brand new truck. Coming from your 2015, you're looking at some significant improvements overall. So starting from the ground, and we're going to move up, and then we're going to go front and back. So starting from the ground, we're looking at the wheelbase of the truck. The wheelbase has grown by four inches. So what that means to you is a significantly better riding experience, better traction, smoother ride. It's going to be quieter, and it's going to handle better. Uh, one thing a lot of people might ask, well, if it's got a longer wheelbase, what about the turning radius? Probably going to be a lot wider. Well, it's not. Even though they extended the wheelbase by four inches, the turning radius has stayed the same, and I can get into that uh, with you a little bit more later. The other thing is, okay, so the wheelbase has grown by four inches. That must mean the truck has grown that much too. Well, it hasn't. It has grown, though. Overall length of uh, the new GMC Crew Cab 5'8 box has grown only by an inch and a half bumper to bumper. So that, you know, it has gotten bigger, a little bit bigger footprint, but it adds uh, a lot of that to just the ride quality, okay? Now, the wheelbase has grown by four inches. The overall length has grown by an inch and a half. Well, where did the other three inches go? Well, good question, because in the back of the cab, there we go, we have three inches more leg room in the back seat of the new crew cab compared to the outgoing model which you currently own. Okay, we'll go into more detail with that. On the outside, you might see those little silver buttons on the door handle. Well, it comes standard with passive entry on all four doors. So you never have to key, uh, take your keys out of your pocket if you need to get in. So if you're at the work site or at the farm or at the gas station, whatever it might be, at the store, you can hop out of the truck, keys are in your jacket or pant pocket, you can walk away, the truck will automatically lock itself, and uh, you come back to get in, you just touch the button and you're in. Up front, the truck is wider, it's about an inch and a quarter wider, and it's also an inch and three quarters taller. So you have more headroom inside, and significantly more shoulder and hip room if you're a little bit full figured like I am. Uh, you got a little bit more room in it. Now, much stronger appearance, as you can see on it here. Very, very bold styling to the GMC, yet very professional looking. Uh, with the AT4, just like your all-terrain, it has uh, the body-colored front and rear bumpers on it. You have the body-colored uh, grill surround with the dark chrome accents there. You get these vertically uh, set red tow hooks on it. You have high-intensity LED headlights on it with an upgraded uh, brighter LED wrap around there with LED. I may have accidentally stopped that there so we'll start here again okay so LED fog lights on it as well um, the AT4 comes with a factory two inch lift so you do have some better ground clearance on it you don't need to worry about doing any aftermarket mods that way to lift it up which cost uh, a lot it's already done by the factory and fully war warranted uh, right here you're looking at 18 inch uh, Goodyear Wrangler uh, Fortitude HT tires so a significant upgrade from the Goodyear Wrangler SRAs that are on your truck right now black mirror caps on it you have blind, I don't know if you can see that there you go right there blind spot monitoring on it with lane change alert Front and rear parking sensors on it. Around the back, you're going to appreciate this. So it comes standard with the Multi Pro tailgate. And you also have the ability to drop the tailgate 
right from the key fob. So if you're coming out to the truck and you got a load to take out and you want to be quick about it, have the key fob, just double tap and she opens up. Maybe something slid forward a little bit. Well, you got to get it. So there's a button you can press. Drops that mid gate so you can get into it and grab whatever you need a little bit easier. It has a 400 watt inverter in the box and your LED bed lights have been improved as well. So you now have three LED bed, uh, bedside lightings per side so it increased to one light each side so it's much brighter and now it's direct firing into the box. Um, the box speaking of that is seven inches wider on the inside wall so you got way more storage space inside. Now if you're a guy like me that uh, has a little bit rougher knees from playing sports you do have this full size bed step to get in as well as the corner step bumpers right there. So easy to step up, to get in, and then also, watch this, here we go, whoa, down we go. Very easy to get out, much easier to get in and out than just using the uh, corner step bumpers alone. Now inside, I did want to talk to you about the back seat, okay? So much more room in here. You might be noticing the back of the center console, well good on you because you now have heated rear seats in the back for the kids and friends and they also have their own USBs as well as uh, rear HVAC vents on it too. So big improvements for rear seat comfortability. When it comes to storage in the back, you have a three liter uh, storage bin built into the back of the seat. Full headrests right there versus the little baby ones. And you also have a standard uh, rear seat storage compartment underneath the back seat. The AT4 also comes with the all-weather floor liners in the truck here as well. Okay, let's go check out the front seat. Alrighty, we are now in the front of the cab. Okay, so the AT4 comes with full leather seating with the jet black with Kalahari accents on it and the Kalahari stitching. Larger center console armrest, and you got cup holders on the back, which you may have noticed before. Much bigger storage inside. There's two USBs, auxiliary SD card, that's for the navigation. USBs here, 12 volt, 120 volt. Your trailer brake controller has been moved down here, so easier access to it. You have all your controls, you can drop the tailgate right from inside the cab if you needed to say you got to hop out and grab something you can just pop it down go and get it uh, right here is a, a switch to activate the uh, inverter in the box in the, in the in the box there okay heated and ventilated front seats the new GMC IntelliLink 3.0 system so much improved uh, smartphone uh, functionality with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, text message support, and an all-new connected navigation system that's in it. Uh, works just like Google Maps where it'll download uh, for your first 30 days at least uh, up-to-date uh, uh, map information, traffic. You can see here the green lines on the map. That means traffic is flowing efficiently. Uh, it goes from uh, green, amber to red as uh, traffic flow uh, gets reduced. Wireless charging right here. So uh, if I was using a different phone to video, I could put mine down, put it there, and it's going to charge the, my uh, Galaxy S9 Plus uh, uh, wirelessly. I don't even need a cable. Up top, you have a little storage compartment on top of the dash, which is really handy. Heated steering wheel inside the AT4. And then we have our driver information center, which has been enhanced as well. I can go into further detail with that. Uh, auto track four wheel drive. So this has been updated as well too. Uh, kind of going a little bit old school, uh, which a lot of customers were kind of liking how we went back to the push button four wheel drive system versus the turnstile. But we still have this turnstile here and this is for your driving modes. So you have tow haul, uh, you have uh, your standard tour mode and then you have sport right there. And again, I can go into more detail with that for you, okay? Uh, up top. We have our sunroof, rear sliding window back there with defrost. Man, all around, super awesome truck. 
Uh, I think you'd be very impressed with this AT4. Uh, Paul and I have it worked out for you. We can go into more detail with you. Next, we're going to take a look at uh, the Elevation Edition that I have worked out as well. See you in that video. Bye now.